Hello friends, we are exactly at 8 o'clock. Um, I got back from the mainland about a week ago. Um, yeah, a week ago, on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Um, and I have, I ordered four kits and then I have one from OnStage that I want to get to. Um, I did these with my daughters the other night. And so I only have one of each card. But let's see how many we can get through. So this is a new Rock Legend kit. It's not that new, but it, I think it came out in January or February. And the other one that I have here that we did, that I did with the girls, is the Panda Friends. And so these are really easy to put together. There is no stamping needed. So let's see how long it takes us to put together four cards. So this one, we've got cute matching envelopes. I don't have very many leftovers. Um, so it says slow connection. Hopefully we're just going to make the cards as is. All right. And um, I had to snip up and give them each their own little section, but we've got plenty left of the um, embellishments. This also comes in four different, I punched out all the English versions, but again, you can turn these over or just cover this up with your own or mix and match. Um, maybe you have Spanish, French, or German, not, not Spanish, sorry. What's the other one? Dutch, German, or French speaking friends or family members that you could give these to. Um, so I'm just gonna, so here's the first card base and that's to make this one right here. So I've got these two here. We're going to pop this out and this out. Okay. And then this is the yellow card, which is going to go with this one. And I forgot to pop out the happy birthday here. And then we have some vellum shapes. Did you guys know um, vellum is going away in the Stampin' Up! catalog? Starting whenever they run out or... May 1st, I believe, is when the new catalog starts. Um, we will no longer be car carrying vellum cardstock. So if you like to use vellum, as I do, um, I would stock up on some. Okay, so I'm just going to use my regular snail adhesive and some leftover dimensionals here. Our instructions... I'm just going to look at them, or at the sample card on the instructions. I'm not going to open it all the way. So we put that piece there, and then I'm going to put this guitar pick, and then we'll use some dimensionals on, where did the guitar go? Here it is on our greeting and the guitar. So I started pretty much exactly at eight o'clock Hawaii standard time. Um, one thing I did not realize when booking my trip to the mainland was the time change. And so I, uh, I don't know if you can see the Let's see, I'm going to move this down a little bit just so that my guitar can cover the adhesive under there. There we go. Um, and then we'll put this on. So we're now four hours behind um, Eric's family and our friends. But while we were there, the time changed and we sprung forward so we lost an hour of sleep which wasn't that bad I guess because we didn't really have anywhere to be well we did have to go to church but um we spent the night in Albuquerque so that saved us a a fair bit of heartache 
by staying close to where our church is over there. All right. And then we went to, Melanie and I went to on stage and we had a fabulous time. Um, looking for my, here we go. Drumsticks. It was a little rainy. So we had to dodge some raindrops here and there, but we were um, in a hotel that was about a five minute walk from the convention center. Um, and thankfully it didn't rain on our walks to or from there, but during lunch one day we did have to skirt along the buildings with overhangs and make our way to where we wanted to go eat. Um, and we took advantage of some of the sunshine. It actually snowed up in Las Vegas, New Mexico, which is where my in-laws live. And um, we did not have appropriate attire. I did have a few, where did my little happy birthday go? There it is. Um, we did have a few jackets that I had saved and kept there in a tub, um, but my kids wear Crocs now, <laughs> and so they would go in and play outside in the snow, and then they would come back in and warm up and dry off a little bit, and then they would go back out. But anyways, here's our first two cards that we made. This is with the Rock Legend kit. Okay, in the kids collection section. And then let's do the Panda and Friends. So we've got I guess I lost my little word bubbles. Alright, here's our two card bases. Hopefully we'll find those word bubbles along the way. Got a strip of grass for this one. pandas and then we've got some pandas here's the arms for this little guy right here Liliana said that she is gonna save her little heart panda for Valentine's because she says she's good at saving things which I think is so cute all right I have no idea where my word bubbles went but I'm sure I can stamp something later. Oh, there's one. Got one. Oh, I guess that's it. We just have one. Oh no, here. This one's still in here. Hey there. Okay, let's do the pink one first. And this one, Olivia got pretty creative and, um, I don't know if you saw that. This hexagon pops out, so you can use this extra piece somewhere, wherever you'd like. But Olivia had the little panda bear peeking out from that little window. She took some creative liberty there. I am just going to follow directions. I'm not normally a direction follower, but I wanted to see how many kits I could get done in 30 minutes and I think the quickest way is usually to follow instructions <laughs> all right so these guys he's got he or she has those cute little arms and grab some more dimensionals here cutie up here. I'm really excited about the new kit that I hope we will get to. Um, and maybe I'll just skip to that after this. All right, this guy says, love you lots. And we've 
got, I saved some embellishments. Gracie put embellishments everywhere. These little sequins. Super cute. They're, um, they're matte, but they're iridescent. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But she had on the eyes, on the ears, on the hearts, everywhere. And I said, you need to save some for your sisters. All right, so there's our first card. And um, it's got these adorable matching. I think these are just so cute. The matching envelope. It's even got little hearts and dots on the inside. Okay. So there's our first card. And then our second card, another super simple and easy. Cannot believe that Graceland is going to be four next month. My little bathtub baby. I don't know if y'all ever, if I ever told this story about how Graceland was born. I did not intentionally have her at home. Um, I just thought I had more time. However, once my water broke, I knew she was going to be here pretty quick, and we were nowhere near having anybody there to watch our kiddos. Um, this was in the middle of the lockdown situation, the shelter-in-place orders, and uh, I told Eric when my contractions started getting more regular that maybe we should call his parents to start heading down to our, down our way to Albuquerque. And uh, I was in and out of the shower, in between the shower and the bathtub and then feeling like this constant need to go to, to pee. <laughs> and I think every time I got in and out of the shower or bathtub or up and down off the toilet um it just moved her further and further into the birth canal and put that pressure on on her amniotic sac and um the last time i sat on the toilet and got up as i was getting up i uh had that, you know, the, the cliche gush of water release. And um, I knew right there and then that we were not going to be at the hospital. <laughs> and so I called my husband over and I was like, we're having this baby now. And he was, I guess I could have prepped Eric a little better of what to expect and what to happen. But anyways... These three little pandas remind me of my three little girls. <laughs> so, super cute matching envelopes. All right, that's four cards. What have we been? About 13 minutes? All right, so that was the Panda Friends kit. Let me put these over here on the side. Okay, I think I'm going to jump into the kit that I got it on stage. This was our make and take for Saturday. And, um... I actually made some at the airport because I had run out of cards to give out, um, which actually is a good thing. But this kit is coming out next month in April, and it is called Hooray for Honeycomb Kit. A Hooray for Honeycomb. Okay, and what it has are these cute little honeycomb elements that pop up when you open the card um, and then this one's on the front but I put it on the inside I will show you how I modified that and I think I'm going to order one of these for Grayson's birthday because it's her birthday next month and I, I like to make banners for their birthdays I haven't the past couple years and so I want to get back into that all right so we're just going to make one of each look at these I'm telling you, these kits just keep getting better and better every time they release a new one. So we have the matching rainbow. We have the matching balloons. 
And this again is a no stamping kit and it's got this um, coating on it. The glossy coating, almost like it's heat embossed with clear embossing powder. Um, let's see. So, oh happy day. I'm just sorting out pieces here. The clouds. And of course, if you do not like these sentiments, you can always flip the clouds over or the balloon over and put stamp your own sentiment or handwrite your own sentiment. And that goes for any of our kits, actually. All right, and then very proud of you. Goes right here. And we've got our strawberry tops. Some rays of sunshine and this green strip little accent piece and it also comes with some white baker's twine I'll put these extra pieces over here stack things up a bit okay so let's do this one first we've got our sunshine here And I will show you when these become available, I'm going to order probably a couple more um, of these kits and I'll show you what kind of banner I make for Gracie's birthday. And you always just take a few seconds actually really once you get all the pieces out to put together all right so there's the front of the rainbow card and of course it's glossy on the back too but in the center it has this rays of sunshine and plenty of space to write a message but what you do with these honeycombs is you take the backing off of one side and stick it down there and then once that's stuck down you're going to take the backing off of the other side and you can just close it and rub it there and then when you open you have this honeycomb sunshine that opens up okay i think this would make a really good get well card if we were to flip this over and put get well soon that would be a great get well card sending some sunshine and rainbows to someone okay on this one so the instructions have it that you would put the berry on the front however if you are going to mail this I guess you could put the berry flat and then hopefully your recipient would would um, you could write a note or something that they could open it up and display it but I just thought it would be more fun to just have a surprise on the inside. So what I did is I decided to put my sentiment on the front. And of course, if you did not need a congratulatory card, you could totally flip this over. Okay. And then look at there's even cute berries on the inside. All right, so what I did is I got the little berry tops and I glued, adhered together the two of them. And then took my scissors and I just cut it in half. And so you have one for this side and one for this side and 
they pretty much match up. Okay, and then same thing, just like the sunshine. Take the backing off of one side, line it up with the center. Take the backing off of the other side. Oops, well, that's not good. Carefully remove. <laughs> All right, and then fold it shut. And there you have your pop-up berry inside. So cute. Okay, and then here's the matching envelope again. And it's got a nice liner or color inside. All right, next one. Oh, happy day. And this one actually needs a twine bow. So I'll tie that really quickly. Put a glue dot. Comes with these little glue dots. I really don't care for them, but I do appreciate that these kits have all of the, um, well, maybe it'll look better on the front. They have everything that you need in them. You don't need anything except for scissors for this one to cut the twine. And those panda and the rock star one, rock legend kits, you didn't even need scissors. All right, so there's our balloon on the front. Then there's two balloons on the inside. Um, taking this off, I think that takes the longest. Lining this up and then taking off the backing from your adhesive. There's a fly in here. <laughs> okay. And there we go. So cute. Let's see. Got time for one more? Let's just open this kit and then we'll... Um, I got the house plants kit. And I got the birthday sparkle kit. I'm trying to think which one would be easier to do. That's right. Birthday sparkle kit go. This one? It's this one. Okay. This one has stamping, so maybe we'll use that for next month. Um, and we'll make alternates for them. So let me just show you real quick. Oh, look. I have extra sequins from my panda kit. So we're going to go off script a little bit and put some extra dazzle on here. How about that? <laughs> Cute. All right, so here's the Happy House Plants kit. It comes in a thicker box. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, and it's a square box. And I haven't even opened this yet. This is also a no stamping kit. I'm just gonna take all the elements and we can look at them together. Um, oh look. Okay, they're shrimp wrapped, shrimp wrapped together. The um, this fly is driving me nuts. Okay, so all four frames are shrink wrapped together. I like that after you put this together, you can stack them all and put them back inside the box and put a bow on it, or you could just give it as is that these all fit in that box and it's a cute size box that would look really nice with a belly band or one of those big ribbon or paper bows on it. I don't know. Did I do a video on that? I don't remember. Well, we've got five minutes left. I don't think I can put these all together in five minutes, but um, it does have a coating on it. Let's open one of these up. So it's got a stand. Okay, so you could give these 
as a stand and it's got the to hang them on the wall I don't know what that's called <laughs> but these are just um, I don't know some sort of plexiglass thin plexiglass sheet and it has a protective coating all right on I believe both sides let's see there's a coating on that side yep there's a coating on both sides you do not have to use this you could actually use this um, I guess it's like an acetate sheet you could use it on a totally different project which I was watching a video by another creator um, who is making cards using acetate and I thought I would try to give that a whirl um, and then it comes with these mats so these are six by six and these are the instructions so maybe we'll do this another day I've, I kind of thought of doing this as a class um, where we could change out every month or quarter what's in the frames because you can totally reuse these frames for other things so stay tuned for that I just wanted to show you guys these are actually not terrible quality um, of course this isn't glass which is probably why this kit is so affordable I believe it's $25 US um, for this kit but you get four frames that you can reuse and um, and it's handmade and you can customize them with stamping too I've seen people other um, demonstrators and creative people who are not demonstrators stamp sentiments on their um, their plants or even decorate a little more with stamping and coloring and such so we will revisit this kit but let's take a review since it is 8 30 um, and I have to wake up early for a conference call which used to have to be up and ready on a zoom call by six and now that we had that time change we're four hours behind so instead of six I have to get up at five um, anyways we made let's see seven cards okay you ready here is the honeycomb kit, which will be available next month got one two and three cards with super cute matching envelopes then we've got the panda friends got two cards with this one with more adorable matching envelopes and these you can mail this long one with um, just a single regular postage stamp okay so we've got two cards and then we have this extra piece which you could put inside but I I don't know what's cuter this card or the envelope they're both so cute all right so that's five all together and then six and seven with the rock legend um, I really like these stars, but my son is a drummer. Too bad his birthday passed already. Well, he wants to be a drummer. And then, um, our pastor at our church is a guitar player. So both their birthdays already passed, but maybe for next year I can make more. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me spread these out so you can see this one's coming next month. Both the Panda and the Rock Legend are available now in the online store. Okay, so thanks for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. God bless.